My name is David Gilna. I'm from Swords, County Dublin. Um, I'm an actor, playwright, screenwriter and a drama facilitator. Funny enough, it was uh, in the parish, what I call it, Swords, County Dublin, in the Brackenstown Talent Competition. I was about nine or ten and a group of friends, we came together and we set up a parody on the river dance. And I pulled the short straw and I had to dress up as uh, Jane Butler, uh, but we won't talk about that. But it was, uh, it was uh, a mime act, like the Young Hoppers. So we started with the river dance and then we went on from Michael Jackson to uh, Roy Orbison, to Queen, to Freddie Mercury, to Led Zeppelin. And so we won that competition. So that's where kind of my uh, love of uh, performing arts kind of grew out of uh, the talent competition. Incredible because it was the first time that I was performing to a live audience, to a stage, and uh, you never forget that feeling. Um, it was incredible. So uh, I found a place in town called the uh, National Performing Arts School. It was run by Jill Doyle and Eamon Farrell, and I teach for them now actually. But that's where I started out as a 12 year old. Um, I played sports Monday to Thursday. Um, I was a national and, and world champion in martial arts, and that was my life. And then the performing arts started to slowly creep in. First of all, it was the rehearsal room. Um, there's no judgment in a rehearsal room. Uh, people have this feeling of safety, that they can be who they want to be in a rehearsal room. So no matter what happens in your life outside of school or family problems, you could come into a place where it was just a room or a shed anywhere in the country and you could be yourself in front of a group of strangers. So a magic was, was, was starting to happen and I'd say it stemmed from a rehearsal room in a place of imagination and safety and you could be who you wanted to be. I love the feeling of being on stage, whether it's a comedian, it's an MC, an actor, or I'm a playwright and I'm in the audience, and the, the power of emotion, that I could sit there when my plays is being staged, and I could connect with different individuals, they can see something in my work that I cannot see, and I get such a buzz from it. Um, so from a writing point of view, it's when the audience connect with an emotion, and as an acting point of view, when you're on stage, every day is different, every show is different, and that feeling of anything can happen. Everybody has their own method or their own style or they follow a practitioner. I really pick from different practitioners or courses that I've gone on from. For me it's to get the character, to find every single detail about the character, how they walk, how they pick up a glass, to get into the mindset. And then I'd start to think about things that have happened in my own life, from people I've lost to suicide or people who've died from cancer. And then I take from those emotions and I can bring those emotions into my performance. I was an athlete, let's say, and I was uh, very sporty and I was national world champion. I want you to think about this. Some of the greatest football players in the world, your David Beckhams, your Ronaldos, your Messis, um, they are fantastic footballers, world class, but they train every day, okay? And you have average footballers, okay, who are not that good, but they train seven days a week to improve their average. So I believe everyone is born with creativity, but some people don't train at it. You have to train at it seven days a week. Michael Jackson once said that in a rehearsal room you have to give 100%. So what happened to me was when I started out, I wasn't given 100% in the rehearsal room. But I took creativity and I took it as a sport. So if I wasn't given 100% on the training ground or on the pitch, why should I have the best performance for the audience? So one, I believe, yes, everybody is born with creativity, okay? Creativity is a blank page. And with that blank page, you can turn that into anything. One of my roots is that there is a, a need for people to see creative shows, whether it's choirs, whether it's music, whether it's opera, whether it's dance, okay? I'm not gonna just talk about stuff that I'm passionate about for, but you have to think about it like a tree, okay? You plant a tree and you let those roots spread. So what you need is a space. You need a performing arts space, okay? That's not owned by a, a school or an outside source. It's run by the local council. So when people know, okay, that you know what? There's a space where I can go to create, where I can rent out a rehearsal room, where I can make you record a track or go to an art class. You have to have a, a hub, a space of creativity where people, feel, people can feel they can go to to express their range of creative uh, emotions.
because if people saw what I could do, okay, I came from here. And, I, and that's how I said, everybody is born with creativity because when people saw me, they said, you know what, I want to get into acting or I want to get into writing. I believe everyone has a story to tell. I believe everybody can act, but like all things, it's a craft and you have to work at it. So if you get a buzz from a community center that's gonna be built here for performing arts, or you go see a show that you're invested in, you wanna become an actor, I don't care who you are, you have to work for it, okay? It's called craft, you earn it. The next project we move into the world of theatre, uh, I will be uh, writing a play um, set in six Irish pubs in six countries and I wanted to talk about uh, the travelling Irish and our connection with alcohol and our connection with addiction and all my stuff is in a sense of humour. So I've got a screenplay to write and I've got a, a, a new play to write and I'd want them finished by uh, the end of the year. Uh, the only thing that can stop creativity is fear, okay? And I believe that creativity is not just involved in the arts. I think that's the perception we need to change. Creativity is in all fields, all career paths, okay? It's the power of imagination, the power of a blank page. You think of any business in the world, everybody is sitting in front of a blank page. And when you can use your imagination or your original ideas and you can come up with a concept, okay? That's creativity, thinking outside the box. I believe we all have a creative soul. And my mantra in life is to never to forget to feed that creative soul.